Hey everyone, Dave Schmitz, resistancebandtrain.com. Thanks for joining me in the band gym today. You know, I know a lot of people think of resistance band training as an easy way to go ahead and strength train. A way that you can go ahead and tone your muscles. A way that you can go ahead and maybe do like a recovery type workout instead of lifting weights. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, that's not the case. Resistance band training can be just as intense as free weight training. And I'm about to share five ways that you can go ahead and increase your strength training intensity using resistance bands. Let's get started. So let me take you through the first way that you can go ahead and increase your intensity of your strength training when you're using resistance bands. It's basic. Go ahead and add more band resistance. However, there's a few ways that you can do that. Number one, you can choose a larger band. Makes sense. Just take the next size band up. Number two, though, is you can go ahead and add a band to the present one you're using. Now, because you're using flat continuous loop bands, that works out pretty easily because the bands lay flat on each other and it works out very well. Another way that you can go ahead and do it is shorten a band. You've seen me go ahead, instead of using a 41 inch band, you've seen me double it. You've seen me go ahead and shorten the band by wrapping it around my foot or my hand to create increased resistance. So that's another way that you can do it. And the last way is to go ahead and increase your starting tension. Remember, a band is a variable resistance. So if I start here and I start doing my pushes and I wanna increase my resistance, I could just step out a little further. And then now I've got a harder, stronger starting point and an obviously stronger ending point. The key with that is, and you know this, you don't wanna overstretch your bands. So make sure that you're still staying within the recommendations that we talk about when we talk about how far to go ahead and stretch your bands. Second way to go ahead and increase your band training intensity, specifically for strength training, is go ahead and increase your time under tension. Now, what I'm talking about that is just challenging yourself to work harder for longer periods of time. That's the first way that you can go ahead and increase your time under tension, just increase your work time. So instead of doing 30 seconds all the time, take yourself up to 40 seconds or 50 seconds or 60 seconds. Another way that you can go ahead and do it is go ahead and increase and make sure that the band always has tension on it. A lot of people, when they're training with bands, they'll choose a big band because they think they're using more resistance. But in reality, because they don't have tension on the back end, they're only getting resistance from about the last third of the range of motion. Make sure when you're going ahead and strength training, there's always tension on the system that will subsequently increase your time under tension. The last way to go ahead and increase your time under tension is very simple. Do repeat sets. You've seen me do this before using 15 seconds on, five seconds off. I'll do repeat sets of the same exercise that will allow me to increase my time, my work time by taking short little breaks. So there's three ways that you can go ahead and increase time under tension using resistance bands. All right, let's talk about the third way that you can go ahead and increase your strength training intensity. It's very simple. Start incorporating compounding sets. And I know you already do this. You already do workouts where you probably choose two exercises and you alternate back and forth between those two exercises. And you do that, but there are some keys to making sure that you are maximizing the intensity of that workout. First and foremost, you wanna go ahead and make sure that rest time between those sets, between those exercises is always the same. You wanna make sure the resistance always stays the same. Now that's a little more challenging with bands because if again, if I'm starting here and I'm pushing, and then all of a sudden as I get tired, I start sneaking back, I'm not keeping the tension the same. So sometimes you're gonna to have to make sure that you, if you're doing horizontal forces with band, you're gonna to have to set your distance to make sure you stay at the same distance all the time. And then the last way is to go ahead and do what we've already talked about, and that is do repeat sets. Repeat sets of the same exercise will also create a compounding effect. But the key thing here is understanding this. Compounding sets repeating that workout over and over again or repeating that sequence of exercises over and over again is how you're going to increase your intensity, but only if you keep your rest 
and your resistance the same. So the fourth way that you can increase your intensity is by increasing your rep speed. Now this is an advanced approach. So please don't go ahead and try this right away. Please try the other three that I've previously mentioned before you try this. But the cool thing about training with bands, and once again, you have a variable resistance so you can increase your rep speed. However, if you're going to increase your rep speed, you have to have the exercise mastered and you have to be under control and you have to be able to go ahead and integrate the movement. Here's what I mean. First of all, control. You know that you can move, push the movement and you can control it regardless of the speed. Number two, you've mastered the exercise, so you know how to incorporate your entire body to help you perform that exercise. And then lastly, if you're going to go ahead and increase rep speed, start by increasing the concentric component of it first. What do I mean by that? There's two phases to an exercise. There's the concentric phase, which is typically you're pushing out, you're squatting, you're going from a loaded standpoint into the concentric push or pull or squat movement. The eccentric phase is on the return of the position. So you're returning back into the movement, loading it and exploding it. Make sure that you try to increase rep speed on the concentric phase first, not on the eccentric phase. So don't just start cranking out reps as fast as you can. That's not what we're talking about. That will not increase intensity. It will tire you out, but there's a high risk of injury. Slow the movement down, accelerate out, control back. Accelerate out, control back. And then when you get that controlled, you can accelerate back and you can accelerate back out. I've done an entire YouTube video on rep speed that you may want to go ahead and check out. But that said, that's another way that you can go ahead and increase your band training intensity is through rep speed. The last and final way that you can go ahead and increase your band training intensity is add free weights to it. We've talked about that a lot in the past, about doing a movement with a band and adding uh, a, a dumbbell or a kettlebell, some type of free weight resistance with it. We've also talked about the reverse, doing some type of free weight exercise and adding a band to it. That's another way to go ahead and increase your intensity, but here's the key and a little bit of understanding behind that. Number one, Again, a band is a variable resistance, a dumbbell, a free weight is a constant resistance. The constant resistance gives you a bell-shaped curve. The band resist, variable resistance gives you an ascending curve, an ascending line. So as you go ahead and combine those two, you're going to go ahead and get resistance through the full range of motion, both at the beginning, middle, and at the end. That's why it's gonna go ahead and increase your intensity. The other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna create multiple forces. Yeah, if you go ahead and you attach a band around your hips and you do something like a push press or a squat, where you've got a horizontal force, you got a vertical force in the free weight. So now you can go ahead and add multiple vectors, which is gonna increase your intensity. And then lastly, you can go ahead and remember, the, the weight is a vertical load. It's basically your body weight and you're loading your body weight. So as a result of that, you're increasing your vertical load while you're going ahead and challenging yourself with the band along with that. So the key is by adding a band to a free weight or vice versa, you're gonna increase the intensity of that exercise, but in a safe way. And again, you're using bands and that's what this is all about. So there you go five ways that you can go ahead and increase your band training intensity and truly make your body start to look, feel, and move its best training with bands. Thank you for joining me today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do that as well. And as always, guys, thanks for joining me in the band gym. And if you want to learn more about how you can join me all the time, every day in the band gym, go ahead and click on the link below and go ahead and check out the band gym as a possibility where you and I can train together for an entire year.